what you've been experiencing the last, I'm guessing, two to three years, I know, right? It was, uh, you may have perceived it as like a dry spill, but I'm here to confirm the fact that it wasn't. It was you going through the, what's it called? The caterpillar stasis, all right? You were, ne you were merely turning and morphing, growing, no different than when you were one years old, two, throughout those adolescent years, you are going through the same process right now. I know you're like, hey, no, no, no. I know. When you think of it like this, when you allow yourself to grow, you're having a big enough growth spurt right now that then you did when you were like, you know, a toddler, you know, throughout your adolescent years. That is how much the universe is propelling you to grow. That is why the last couple of years, you weren't building those relationships. You weren't entertain into those relationships that you always do i know right you always keep a couple chicks by your side right you always keep at least one or two well that wasn't supposed to be the case now you had always someone there to support you but you've never had like but i mean no no i never had you didn't have what you were used to that's what i'm getting and same thing goes with female female you used to having two a dude or two by your side you know a friend type and then a relationship type because you know what I'm saying you ain't messing with both it's just one was a support and the other one was more like you know like a relationship but you weren't like y'all was both just getting to know each other now you're about to build solid relationship this has got this is about to be based on trust loyalty I'm saying this is I'm getting this is about to be deeply rooted the cosmos has brought this individuals into your life I'm getting it can either be singular or plural but the cosmos has brought these people into your life it could be also your soul tribe too for many of you watching this video your soul tribe god is bringing those individuals who are going to benefit who are going to add versus take away now at this part of your life that is why the last like you weren't really supposed to entertain all that crap you were more in a state of like growing and healing and releasing karmic debt but now now that you've realize what you have to let go like letting go the fact is if you have problems like with people that's because you weren't doing the car karmatic healing and stuff is coming up to see if you pass that test stuff is coming up like a lot i know you i know you resonating to this message right now you already know what i'm getting like stuff is coming up back to back and normally you would entertain it much more but because you already realize for what it is you don't even entertain it but like a brief second you just like you in and out, you know what I'm saying? I said, nah, but not like, but you feel me? You ain't really dwelling on, you're not dwelling on things at all because you're realizing them for what they are because you've already been there. Now I'm getting your season. You are seasoned. That's why it is your time. You are seasoned. You have been doing the work. You are now ready. If anyone's ready, it is you. People watching this video, but you know what I mean. You've been getting confirmation. You excited, changing your schedule. Like these body attributes that you are now implementing right now they mean a big difference chinese people they know certain things you're drawn to it shows different paths certain things that you do it shows what you're doing on your path it shows you may not recall those memories like you know in fact like detail to detail but you know the purpose or you know at least what you're supposed to be you know attending to you may not know down to the nitty-gritty but you're gonna get there as long as you move step by step that is all it is. That is why the last couple of years you've been walking in faith. You've been walking merely by faith. Like I'm getting, it's been a pitch black room, right? Get this, like no different than that game, that show. What's it called? Money game, money heist, whatever like that. So it's called money heist, right? Y'all know what I mean on Netflix. So it's where you was walking, I'm getting, you was walking on like a thin thread, like a thin rope line. You feel me? Like one of those ones they use in a circus and it was pitch black and you was walking by a voice that was leading you faith i'm guessing it was the most high it was i like you know what i'm saying it was deeply 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 rooted from within out right you were literally made it from <laughs> you made it out the gutter all the way through the trenches all the way through you know what you experienced to be like <laughs> the most chaotic times in your life right the most where it did not seem like things were ever going to change you made it through over those barriers to the finish line you made it like and it was sometimes it was 
I'm getting, it was rough. It was heavy. You know what I'm saying? Turbulence will come out of nowhere, try to get you off center. Like you, you had to pick yourself up constantly. I'm getting, you had to, you fell over and you had to pick yourself up constantly. Most times you was just like, you know what I'm saying? You fell down so many times, you was just sliding through like a grill. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't even using your feet. Most of you was just, you was easing through there. You found other ways to get to the finish line. I'm getting, you found other ways. You resonate with this video? I mean, with this message right now and the video, because you got to resonate with the video too. Comment down below. Also like this video. And thank you guys, y'all. Thank you for supporting this channel. So the more that you guys support, the more, of course, I'm going to invest. Invest in giving you guys better messages because then I can take that energy from other places. I can give it to you guys. I can inspire you guys so we all be on, uh, let's just say, a collective. All right? We all rise as a collective. It's an energy. It's your thoughts. You ever notice you think of something and it comes. I just experienced that earlier. I thought it. I thought it was immediately, and then I was aware right when it showed up. I was like, "Oh shit!" My thoughts really are creating everything. This is just a simulator, and the simulator. I know it sounds freaky to hear, but the simulator reacts to your thoughts. So the moment you take, you take control. Whoo! And even the Mister Smith just can't fuck with you. You know how in the end they couldn't mess with Neo because they can't. <laughs> Once you know they can't. And you're inspired through whatever you need to inspire you. Nothing can't mess with you. Notice how Neo was inspired by who? Trinity. She was good though, man. She was cool. I mean, I don't agree. They should have made the new one. They should have just like recast the cast members. But yo, Trinity, you know, even now, even now. But they should have replaced Jada Pinkins part. Every other part, yeah. Naomi, yeah, all that replaced. But Trinity, she's still cool. She's still cool. So look, now everything is about to happen for you. So get ready. You're about to experience it right now. I know they were saying like months from now. No, I'm talking about right now. This is happening in this moment because you deserve it. You've waited. You've waited. You've done the work. You're still doing the work. But the point is God sees your heart and that's the biggest thing. You know, no, no matter what, it, do, it, it doesn't matter what is going on. You feel me? God sees your heart. Woo! Ah, yeah, I need to. Ah, but yeah, God see. I got to get focused. But look, look, it doesn't matter about what people say. God sees your heart. That's the only person whose opinion matters. Who, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that holds weight is God. And God has already casted you as, like, you know. I'm getting God has given you the role of like top because you're not trying to like compete, but you're also you're not trying to hurt or take from anyone. You only want to give. And that is why God is propelling you so much into like this like high pedestal of limelight now. So, yo, all that stuff you did not. I mean, you did did not go to waste. I'm getting anything that anyone did to oppose you or go against you. That's only in your favor. So that's going to benefit you. So you're thinking, or those people are thinking they're going to get you or hurt you or stop what God has for you. No, that is what's propelling it towards you. Greatness, luxurious. I'm talking wealth. I'm talking money. I'm talking behind. That's what is propelling it so much more quicker. That is the funny part. That is why, that is people's karma. People's karma is the more they throw shade, they throw hate, the more God is going to throw, is going to take from others who don't deserve it and pour into you. <laughs> uh, because what? Energy can't be created nor destroyed. It must be transferred from one point to another. So what do you think God's doing? Man, check on the news. People supposedly missing money out their bank account. No, it's not supposed. It's karma taking it from something that they did. They must have stole. They must have did some fucked up shit. And giving it to someone who really deserves it. But thank you guys, man. If y'all want to hear more messages like this, subscribe to this channel. And for those who are showing your support, yo, thank you.